plunged the G20 now pledging a strong and coordinated response to maintain stability. Our economics correspondent Linda Yu has the latest on this development. Uh, so. And Linda, is this going to do anything to calm markets? Maybe that's what we're seeing in the futures. No, I was going to say, March says yeah. markets are turning around. That would actually be uh, probably more than could be hoped for, given that the yeah. G20 didn't actually provide any details about what this coordinated action would be. But Christine Lagarde, the new head of the IMF, says that's exactly what's needed. What is lacking today, and I hope will be rejuvenated, is the collective momentum and the spirit that I see, that I saw, for instance, at the London G20 meeting. That was a, a moment when all leaders came together, and I hope that can happen again. Okay, I take it back, Lindsay. There was one concrete <laughs> thing the Eurozone leaders pledged to pass the EFS at the Temporary Rescue Fund by the next G20 October. meeting, which is October 14th and the 15th. Well, that was good of them, wasn't it? Um, now, what is the very latest when we, when, we, when we talk about this European crisis? Because this is what's got everybody concerned about a global recession. This is effectively what they say could push us, push us into it if we don't get a resolution. It's one of, it is, yeah, it's certainly one of the big concerns. And in fact, the Eurozone crisis is also why Christine Lagarde again says they know what they need to do. The question is, do they have the political will to do it? The set of solutions and methods to address the situation uh, is quite well known. What is needed and what certainly we hope to be able to help generating on the occasion of the annual meeting is the political leadership. That technical solution, of course, is to support the banks. And the FT reports that the EU leaders are speeding up a process to recapitalize the 16 banks, which are marginal passes on the stress tests from last summer. The question is, how, where's the money coming from? You can kind of see where this goes. To what extent can the countries that are still growing, the BRIC countries, actually help out uh, the, the developed nations here? Yeah, they actually, they issued their own statement and they said that they'll work with the existing institutions like the IMF and whatever the Europeans put in place to do this. So what they're referring to is they'll buy bonds issued by the rescue fund, mm. but they haven't actually said they'll do anything further. And in fact, there was a bit of hope, Linz, that they would because some signs of investment from the BRICS, mm. some signs of them Chinese, buying government yeah. bonds tends to support the euro, but they're saying it's in your hands. Right. Okay. Thanks, Linda.